Now it happened on the day that Moses had finished setting up the tabernacle, that he anointed it and set it apart as holy with all its furnishings and the altar and all its utensils, he anointed them and set them apart as holy. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of their fathers' households, brought an offering near. They were the leaders of the tribes. They were the ones who were over the numbered men. And they brought their offering before Yahweh, six covered carts and twelve oxen, a cart for every two of the leaders and an ox for each one, and they brought them near before the tabernacle. Then Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Accept these things from them, that they may be used in the service of the tent of meeting, and you shall give them to the Levites, to each man according to his service. So Moses took the carts and the oxen and gave them to the Levites. Two carts and four oxen he gave to the sons of Gershon, according to their service, and four carts and eight oxen he gave to the sons of Merari, according to their service, under the direction of Ithamar the son of Aaron the priest. But he did not give any to the sons of Kohath, because theirs was the service of the holy objects, which they carried on the shoulder. And the leaders brought near the dedication offering for the altar when it was anointed, so the leaders brought their offering near before the altar. Then Yahweh said to Moses, Let them bring their offering near, one leader each day, for the dedication of the altar. Now the one who brought his offering near on the first day was Nashon the son of Amminadab, of the tribe of Judah. And his offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Nashon the son of Amenadab. On the second day Nethanel the son of Zur, leader of Issachar, brought an offering near. He brought near as his offering one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Nethanel the son of Zur. On the third day it was Eliab the son of Helen, leader of the sons of Zebulun. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Eliab the son of Helen. On the fourth day it was Elizur the son of Shadur, leader of the sons of Reuben. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Elizur the son of Shadur. On the fifth day it was Shalomiel the son of Zurashaddai, leader of the sons of Simeon. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Shalomiel the son of Zurashaddai. On the sixth day it was Eliasaph the son of Duel, leader of the sons of Gad. 
His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Eliasaph the son of Duel. On the seventh day it was Elishama the son of Amahud, leader of the sons of Ephraim. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Elishama the son of Amahud. On the eighth day it was Gamaliel the son of Pedazer, leader of the sons of Manasseh. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Gamaliel the son of Pedazer. On the ninth day it was Abidon the son of Gideoni, leader of the sons of Benjamin. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Abidon the son of Gideoni. On the tenth day it was Ahizer the son of Amishadai, leader of the sons of Dan. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Ahizer the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day it was Pagiel the son of Akron, leader of the sons of Asher. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Pagiel the son of Akron. On the twelfth day it was Ahirah the son of Anan, leader of the sons of Naphtali. His offering was one silver dish whose weight was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mixed with oil for a grain offering, one gold pan of 10 shekels, full of incense, one bull from the herd, one ram, one male lamb one year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and for the sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs one year old. This was the offering of Ahira the son of Anan. This was the dedication offering for the altar from the leaders of Israel when it was anointed. Twelve silver dishes, twelve silver bowls, twelve gold pans, each silver dish weighing 130 shekels, and each bowl 70. All the silver of the utensils was 2,400 shekels, according to the shekel of the sanctuary. 
the twelve gold pans, full of incense, weighing ten shekels apiece, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, all the gold of the pans one hundred twenty shekels. All the oxen for the burnt offering twelve bulls, all the rams twelve, the male lambs one year old with their grain offering twelve, and the male goats for a sin offering twelve. And all the oxen for the sacrifice of peace offerings twenty-four bulls, all the rams sixty, the male goats sixty, the male lambs one year old sixty. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. Now when Moses went into the tent of meeting to speak with him, he heard the voice speaking to him from above the mercy seat that was on the ark of the testimony, from between the two cherubim, so he spoke to him.